Oh, it's bloody on. Oh. Here we go. This is <laughs> this is a uh, a sort of spark mode post. This is called Aliens in the Urban Mist. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Test its DNA and you will believe, you will see, it's an alien from another world. That's why it hates me so. I've got the mutant gene that gives me the ability not to wear 3D glasses at cinemas. Yeah, I can also see and hear this alien as well. For what it really is. It's frightening. Just like Marvel Studio. Putting out movie after movie. Of countless no name. Generically the same superhero pictures. Go to the house where the alien lives. In the inner suburbs. That's where it believes most earthlings. Can be observed and controlled. And the public transport is better of course. <laughs> Plus, it's playing the part of a middle-class rich socialite. Socialist. <laughs> I got that wrong. <laughs> Ain't that funny? No, it's not. Who used to be a Maoist Buddhist communist. Funny how communists are always rich living in the West. You'll see how much it despises all earthly things behind closed doors, of course. Disdain drips from its jaws at the contents of the house. The original householders are held captive in the ceiling, fed and tortured with sports drinks, 40% reduced sugar cocoa pops. Why, you might ask? The alien hates feelings, empathy, caring and well-balanced diets. Yes, 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 yes! Just look at the things the aliens got. It's the possessions one would expect to find. A character in the morning soap opera would have. That's 40 years of studying our TV transmissions. From 9 to 12, 4 to 6, that's the way it sees the world. And that's another giveaway that it's an alien. How can we prove it's an alien? Do funny voices, silly accents, and get the alien to do them too. Watch it stuff up and start talking with its real alien voice, which sounds like a morning TV host doing info commercials in a shopping centre with a squeaking shopping trolley wheel thrown in. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Translation. Can you direct me to the toilet food dispenser? Did I get that wrong? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Back to the poem. Then throw water in the alien's face and it will get really mad. Only aliens get mad when water comes in contact with their faces. I know, I know, I know, it's amazing. It's frightening too. So, it will reveal... It's scar marks of its conversion to look human. And finally, spray coke in its eyes. They'll pop out and make a run for the nearest exit. Marked on your left and right hand sides. Step on its little finger and that will render it disabled. Then test it! As it starts quoting dialogue from Walter White, Dexter Morgan, and Mary Ann on Gilligan's Island. It's evil, but it's the only way to stop the alien and the coming invasion. This has been a, you know what, a thing update. <laughs> there you go. I oh, know it's bad, but uh, yeah, I think I'll probably have to rewrite that sunset.